Hi, I'm Mallory Varner, and I'm the Vinyl Decorating Segment Manager for GSG. Today I'm going to show you how to sublimate face masks using the new Epson F570 Eye Sublimation Printer. This printer, along with a heat press, you can get into for under $5,000, which is a great to either add on to your current apparel business or if you want to start a new business altogether. So let's get started. We're going to take an ordinary face mask that GSG is offering, make it into something great. We offer these in two different colors, white or black, in both eco and a premium version. First thing you want to do is send your image to the printer. In another video, I go through all the steps to do this. Then it will begin printing. You're going to notice that with dye sublimation, your image may seem a little dull. But as soon as you heat press it, those colors turn vibrant. You may also notice that it's in mirror image. Like I talk about on my other video when you're sending something to print, the driver software automatically checks the mirror image so you don't have to worry about that. Next step, you want to always be sure to protect your heat press by laying down either a piece of craft paper or a Teflon sheet so you don't ruin your bottom platen. Then you want to lay down your image that you're going to be pressing. Put the item on top of it. This is our mask. I'm going to use a piece of tape, the TT35, to make sure it stays in place and that holds up to heat. Then I'm going to cover it with another either piece of craft paper or Teflon sheet. Now we're ready to press. With the mask, I'm pressing at 400 degrees for 45 seconds with medium pressure. Be sure and always check your substrate to make sure you have the right time and temp. Due to the high temp and long time, you want to make sure that you have protectant over your hands. I use the up glove, any oven mitt, or any heat protectant glove will work great. Then you want to peel off the Teflon sheet or your craft paper, whatever you have. Next, you want to peel off the sublimation paper. Make sure that you have a good grip on your substrate so you can do one fell swoop with the mask. That way there's no ghosting that happens. Look how great those colors look. My favorite thing about sublimation is how vibrant the colors really turn out, especially compared to when you see it printed out of the printer. Eye sublimation truly is exactly what you're looking for when you want something ordinary like this white mask. To go to extraordinary like this with all these great colors that really show through with still that soft feel. I think today though, I'm gonna wear this one as I head to the store.